Rising Appalachia is a summer day camp that really focuses on the outdoors and letting kids be kids. Um, we make a point of showing people basically the wonder in their own backyard. I caught tadpoles a lot and I, and I did touch a fish. Like I touched one of the fish. We've got everything we need here and it's just a farm and it grows wild. I love that the kids it's a rainy day, they're deep in the mud puddles. Um, if we're waiting for parents to arrive, they're out in the backyard with a magnifying glass. I like how it's all out in nature and that things are made out of like stuff that you can find in nature so you can make it by yourself. I really like the pond because it's really fun to swim in because there's a lot of clay at the bottom and it's fun to make things out of and there's little frogs and tadpoles and stuff and the chickens and the goats are really fun. I like the chickens the best. Ginger, snowball, snowflake, snow, skittish, uh, gloss, gloss junior, strawberry, ginger junior, uh, puffball. It's like holding a cat. This week in particular, um, we're very proud of because it takes a population that's underserved and it moves the needle, you know. Uh, we had just about 20% female participation rate, and that's a very visible, noticeable difference. I wanted to go look into the research and see what we had. Um, from that, we came up with a theory of constraints, and from there, we built the programs that we wanted to have at this camp. So the chief ones that popped up were that fear of violence from others, you know, um, and we specifically chose self-defense courses to combat that. And then another one was finding a voice. I said stop and I mean it. I said stop and I mean it. We did self-defense class and we learned about how to protect your body if someone's trying to like take you away. This year we've got um, music lessons and guitar, and that's just an opportunity to practice being heard, um, making sure that like, you can express yourself and be confident in that. We come here and we get to hang out, we get to play, we also get to like learn but it's about things that we wouldn't necessarily learn about in school, like medicinal plants. And uh, I tried a mulberry for the first time and it was really good. And I found a lot of blackberries, or was it black raspberries? I don't know. I have learned just about a lot of different plants and I really just like being here, it's really fun. So, what is this flower here? Does anyone know with all this white in it? Elderberry. Elderberry. Um, but what we're seeing is that um, the girls who arrive are displaying, at least shortly after, um, a reduction in those constraints. It changes the way they see going out into the world and it changes those decisions they make of what to do. So giving that opportunity and showing those girls like it's worth it to play outside is a good thing.